Hi, Air Signs. This is Kelly from Moon Pai Tarot. This is your weekly love and sex reading for December 13th through the 19th. This is for Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. <clears throat> so, um, at the bottom of the deck here, you guys, you have the Ace of Cups. And this is the overall energy for this week, which is pretty great. This card talks about um, a new love or a new beginning in, in love and emotions and uh, key emotional developments. Um, so if there's been something that uh, some of you have been hoping for or waiting for. I feel like this week there will be some kind of expression of love or someone may maybe ask you out or want to spend some time with you there could be something new a new energy occurring at the beginning of this week um, or at least throughout the week at some point I want to say I want to stress that even though when I do these readings uh, I start at the beginning of the week and then I work my way through these energies can actually be present at any time so for instance, a card here at the end of the week could actually start at the beginning. It really just depends. I just try to give you the story as it comes through. Now, at the beginning of the week, you have the Nine of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Nine of Cups. I can't see. Um, so, I feel like there's some kind of um, abandoning yourself this week. Maybe you will meet someone, or maybe there's someone already in your life um, that is going to be expressing their love to you, or, or you to them. And with the Nine of Cups, this talks about all of this enlightenment and this, this feeling of coming together, uh, getting what it is that you've been hoping and wishing for on an emotional level, clicking with someone. Okay, so that energy will definitely be present. I feel it'll be two people who are very open to each other, um, expressing themselves emotionally, being vulnerable. There may be someone that comes in or someone that is present that has an ability to express themselves emotionally and because you're an air sign, uh, may bring that out of you. Okay, um, in a more passionate way not just uh, this is this is more of a feeling and a giving of yourself um, and exposing yourself to them and and that person exposing themselves to you and also in a sexual way as well okay um, and with the two of Pentacles next to that, that really just talks about trying to have balance. Um, so you might feel yourself opening yourself up and then maybe pulling yourself back in a little bit. It might be a little overwhelming for you. This, this person might be very emotionally overwhelming for you. Um, or the emotions that come through or what it is that they express might overwhelm you a little bit. Almost as if you'll be intrigued and you'll be uh, wanting to, you know, uh, oh, you'll be you'll be intrigued to want to open yourself, but then you pull back a little bit. Um, there could be uh, this other person too. Could also be mm, maybe feeling uh, that you're closing up a bit on them. So. Um, you'll have to, and so they will try to reach out. They will try to keep reaching out to you. Um, for some reason, I just see you turning away, maybe just taking a little break, or it could just be a quick fling, and then maybe you don't want anything more with that person. Um, you've opened yourself up. You've exposed yourself, even in a sexual way, but now the, you're cutting off the emotion. <coughs> Uh, could just be due to a lot of situ situations for some of you with the holidays and busy time could be that 
but I feel like that person that has reached out to you senses that you're pulling away and they're going to keep trying to reach out to you and I kind of feel like for the rest of this week that's going to be your energy where you will pull away a bit you have the moon card the center of the reading okay and it sits above the ace of cups so this is a very emotional week for you and it might be a bit too emotional for you you might feel like okay <laughs> you need to pull back a little bit the moon card talks about um, this card always to me talks about reflection um, because the moon reflects the light of the sun so it could be that I feel like some of you are just going to get into this place where you're going to pull back and then maybe I feel like you're going to actually pulling away because you're discovering some feelings within you that you may not have realized that you had or some of you may be fearful of these emotions or these feelings and this person that's reaching out to you and expressing their love and desire for you they are not fearful of their emotions and their love um, at least or I feel the energy I don't have a, a sign here for this person but I feel like they are uh, very emotionally intuitive and connected to how they feel where uh, you're a bit more of a um, you have a little more more mental energy you don't express yourself emotionally more mentally and with the moon it could make you feel uh, like oh what's happening to me who am, who am I what has this person done <laughs> how did they help how did they make me open up like this you know these emotions might all be new for you so you may need to take a step back to try to balance how you you, you know your head and your heart with this I feel like this person is very you know uh, they're they're different from you not in a bad way it's just the way they express themselves is differently and it might be a little overwhelming for you with all that emotion this could be a water sign for some of you um, but I do see you taking a step back because I feel as if there are th these feelings now that may have come from an encounter with someone that could make you um, need to get your head on straight you may be having trouble concentrating this week um, because there's things that have come out into the light that you did not know were existed within you or maybe you maybe this is a for some it could just be someone that you've known or a friend who expresses themselves to you and maybe you never thought of them that way before but now uh, some some feelings could be coming up and making you see them in a different light but with the four of pentacles um, I feel like uh, you're not going to be willing to uh, oh, let go or express yourself again much this week because I do feel there's um, kind of an overwhelming um, it's a uh, it feels overwhelming for you I guess that's what I'm trying to say these feelings are overwhelming for you in this but I do see this this person whomever they are still reaching out still trying to be in contact still trying to get close to you and you are kind of sitting back um, just detaching yourself this week from all of that and as I said for some of you it could just be because you're busy and you just don't want to deal with um, the emotional aspects of a situation uh, because it's it could just maybe it's too distracting for some of you but I don't see this particular person giving up um, however at the end of the week um, you have the ten of swords so
That feels to me like you're going to be, I almost feel like I just see some sadness. I don't know. Um, this situation that could be occurring, that's occurring this week, with this moon card and these emotions coming up from below, I feel like at the end of the week that really going to hit you. I don't know if some of you have, um, if you've, you've gone, maybe this person reminds you of someone from your past and it's dredging up old pains or someone you may have lost in the past. Um, usually this ten of, ten of swords is usually about like a betrayal or an ending. Um, some of you, mm, I don't feel like this person has betrayed you. I feel like there was a betrayal in the past for you, and it's maybe too difficult for you to get, uh, to keep yourself open to a new relationship, and this is for the singles. Um, or even for those of you who are involved in a relationship, there could be uh, that this person brings out so much love and so much good energy for you, but it's too painful right now for you to open up to them. And you might actually uh, tell them no, that you can't move forward with them. Because right just at this time, it you can't deal with these emotions. This almost sounds so very sad, but I feel towards the end of the week, I don't see them giving up. I see you. You know, it's like you have this Ace of Cups, and then you have this great Nine of Cups energy here, but then you start turning away because of these overwhelming emotions coming up. And you start turning away. See, she's turned away here. She's turned away here. And she's turned away here because of some betrayal in the past. I don't feel like some of you are ready for this relationship or this offering, even if you're in a, in a, in a marriage or, or long-term relationship or what have you, and there's been some difficulty and your partner's trying to reach out to you, even in a sexual way, I feel like uh, something's going on with the air signs where you're just not quite ready to go all the way with them. They've opened something up in you and they've brought things to the light that you didn't realize were, uh, you thought maybe they were hidden or buried or you had been done with them, but they're reminding you of someone or they're bringing something out for some of you that is making it too difficult to c connect with them either again or currently. So I feel like toward the end of the week, um, you may just be in a bit of a mourning state. I don't necessarily feel like you're going to just completely end anything with, with another person. I just feel like these emotions, you're going to be trying to deal with them. And you may need to deal with that before you can move forward with another person. Okay, air signs, that's your reading for the week. I hope that you have a wonderful week, and I will talk to you guys soon. All right, thanks. Take care. Bye.